pleasant day to the organizing committee and online viewers of the third international conference on business technology tourism education engineering culture and social science 2022 on behalf of the entire research team from the philippines i abigail ira a Kudias, am the official representative and co-author of the study entitled theoretical analysis and sectoral insights on Philippines digital transition as a smart destination. Smart destination analysis and development incorporates an interactive and collaborative management style to improve citizens' quality of life. A destination can attain it by leveraging information and communication technology and other digital platforms. However, smart development necessitates baseline data on the destination's current conditions and its level of smartness. The Philippines is in the works compared to neighboring countries, given the current situation, and locks local literature for smart destination research. Therefore, the study aims to understand smart destination development and present that knowledge with theoretical and statistical evidence. Furthermore, by gathering insights from industry players across various sectors, this study aims to lay the groundwork for smart destination analysis and development in the Philippines. The study employs an evaluative descriptive design and mixed method techniques, example, literature review and content analysis, survey method, and Likert scale. This enables the acquisition characterization, and description of theoretical findings and data. Results reveal that various sectoral stakeholders identified health and safety as top priority for smart development. It also demonstrated that the country's governance is generally good and the smart initiatives shaping smart experiences are relevant. With this, the study implies that the ultimate goal of smart development is to improve the destination's resource management efficiency, competitiveness, and sustainability. This study presents a large amount of data in a simple form through literature analysis and descriptive statistics. The results in this section are structured as follows. Profile of the study participants is 4.1, theoretical findings and data on smart project prioritization and governance is 4.2, and the Philippines digital transition as a smart destination is 4.3. Good sectoral representation in research is vital, especially for a smart destination. Moreover, multi-sector coordination requires stakeholders and sectors to work together to achieve a common goal. Partners can take advantage of their diverse knowledge, expertise, reach, and resources as they work together to improve development outcomes. Combining various partner strengths and diverse approaches can remove barriers to policy implementation, facilitate scalping up, and increase the sector's impact. Identifying opportunities for collaborative planning necessitates cross-sectoral coordination. Asia develops a smart destinations using people, processes, and technology. In Asia, smart aspects are governance, environment, transportation, economics, people, and lifestyle. Asian cities dominate smart development projects according to the Index of Multiple Deprivation Smart Cities Report for 2021. Meanwhile, Europe dominates quality of life and sustainability with seven top spots. Recent difficulties inspired the Philippines to establish smart projects to improve citizen services. An innovation destination needs a task group to examine the government smartness. There is a smart destination roadmap and research-based data, but the government still has problems. Other concerns include a huge digital gap, a lack of smart program policies and standards, and government changes. Theoretical evaluation suggests key factors must be met for the Philippines' digitization to thrive. First is the destination's level of digitalization and innovation, which is manifested in Table 2. 
discerning the necessities of people is essential. Digital technologies are radically transforming numerous aspects of human lives including communication, urban mobility, work, living, access to healthcare, education, permit processing, and resource management. These smart requirements translate to connectivity, mobility, employment, health and safety, education and skills, e-government, and consumption. The second is engagement and governance. This stage involves inclusiveness, clarity of goals, capacity building, and institutionalization. Table 3 shows that good governance aids developing countries in managing resources while making smart investments and partnerships with the neighboring countries. This claim confers to the good governance and convergence approach stipulated in the development plan of the Philippines under Republic Act 9593. Stakeholder engagement and collaborations aim to boost civic involvement and involve corporate sector and communities in decision-making for smart destinations. Therefore, public meetings must have quitable stakeholder representation and clear summaries of stakeholder meetings. Community development and mediation procedures are also available to address difficulties. The Philippine Tourist Government is resolved to rebuild this year with new branding strategies and promotional campaigns. Since the epidemic, DOT and TPB have used internet platforms to promote smart tourism. The extended lockdowns forced the DOT to establish virtual tours with tourism partners to reduce anxiety in those with limited or no movement. Despite the outbreak, the TPB has 500 members including resorts and tourism agencies. Philippine Tourism promotes our country and culture online. Both organizations feel technology is key to promoting our country's destinations, activities, and attractions. Smart tourism involves a site, interest, or traveler's technical abilities. Its goal is to improve resource management efficiency, competitiveness, and sustainability. DOT and TPB's strategic goal is smart tourism. The agencies intend to innovate and digitize smart travel, ensure data-driven planning, and extend promotional and marketing capabilities. The sector has seized digital opportunities by being in most, if not all, online apps. As characterized through literature analysis supported by statistical findings, the lack of academic literature on Philippine smart destination development is now foundational. In bridging gaps in smart development preparations, statistical results reveal that various sectoral players identified health and safety with an average of 3.61 as a top priority for smart project development. It also manifested that the quality of the country's governance is generally good with an average of 2.61 and the Philippine Tourism Government's smart initiatives in shaping smart experiences are generally relevant with an average of 3.80. Smart development's ultimate purpose is to improve destination resource management efficiency, competitiveness, and sustainability. Therefore, this study serves as baseline data and a valuable reference for future studies on smart destination development. Furthermore, the study opens opportunities for actual collaborative extension projects, policy development, and funding support, making it smart specific if carried out at the municipal or city level. Thank you very much and mabuhay from the Philippines.